What's going on guys, Philly here with Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with Ron. You've probably seen him in a couple of videos before, but we brought him out today because we're doing another episode of From the Gallery where we rate your trucks that you add to the gallery on a scale of one to 10, one being not so good, 10 being uh, excellent. So that's what we're gonna do. I picked Ron because he owns a Toyota and this episode is gonna be all about Toyotas. So uh, we'll jump into it. And this time we're doing 10 trucks rather than five. So we're gonna keep it fast and just show you a bunch of trucks. All right, so our first one, this is a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. It's got the TAS 544 RMs, which are custom offsets exclusive. Uh, it's on a six and a half inch suspension lift and running 33 by 12 and a half. So we're just gonna look at the pictures real quick. I dig this color. I really like that. That would be the cement gray. Of course you would know what it is. All right, number one through 10. Three, two, one, eight. Seven. Ooh, seven. So I went with eight because overall I think this truck looks really good, really well put together. I love all the paint match, even though it's probably factory stuff, it looks good and I like the pop of color with the wheels. Love the cement gray, I think it's a great color. I'm not into the red so much, so that's probably where I take it a little bit. And I'm more into the smaller wheel, big tire look. So you'll love this one then, right? <laughs> Opposite. 2019 Toyota 4Runner, Fuel Mavericks, 20 by 12s, and on 33s, again with a six inch lift here. I gotta say, I don't see many people lift four runners six inches and put uh, like big stancy boy wheels and tires on here. Mm, got a number in mind? I do, let's All right. go. Three, two, one, six. Nine. How do you go nine on this one? Love this truck. The only reason I did not give it a 10 is because it's not mine. <laughs> this, it. is, this is a badass truck. It's my look. Uh, I have a black Tundra. Um, in the process of chrome deleting and doing all that. So this is right up my alley. I think it's got a badass look and it's functional as well. This looks great cleaned up out on the road and it also will perform great out on the mud as well. Yeah, he still does have some tire there, not quite uh, as much, but 20s and 33s isn't bad. I guess a six inch lift, I'm just not used to seeing on a Forerunner, um, but definitely love like, I like the, that bars on here look good. I like everything about it, all blacked out, clean rig. Oh man, I don't know about this one. 2018 Toyota Tundra, American trucks, 24 by 14s, on some Matero AZ800s, which is a street tire, summer tire. Four and a half inches of lift to get those to fit. Oh boy. All right, you got a number in mind for this one? Yep. Mm, man, I feel like I'm gonna hurt some feelings. Three, two, one, four. Five. Yeah, I went even lower. It's just not uh, not something that I would run. And I guess if you're gonna put street tires on a truck, you might as well lower it. But I've never seen anybody lower a Tundra and overall just doesn't quite do it for me. So I've seen some lowered Tundras, I think they look good, but I've seen the lowered Tundras when they've got the body kits, the white body oh, kits on them. Like Rutledge Wood has one. That thing's sweet. Those look badass. However, on this one, like the tire or like the wheels, don't like the tire so much. However, with me going Chrome Delete right now, I'm in that black look. So this is kind of going against what I'm getting rid of. So that's why. Yeah, all right, next one. This is interesting. 2018 Toyota Tacoma, 18 by 10s, 275, 65s, and a three inch rough country, and a massive front bumper. Fab four, I believe is what that is. Number? I got it. Three, two, one, six. Six. Yeah, the, I don't think that bumper goes with the rest of the truck. No, I think this is a baby trying to be a big boy on a Tundra. Yeah. I think that would look great on a Tundra because I'm looking at a bumper like that for mine, but I don't think it looks good on this one. I think it misses the mark. The Tundra is so small and then this big giant bumper on the front just makes it like, it looks front heavy. Like, yep. Too much going on yep. out there. So here's something totally different. 1992 Toyota pickup. It's on 15 by eight, negative 38. It's Cooper tires and it's got a two four drop. It's kind of the mini truck look. Drop spindles and blocks. Okay, got a number for this one? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, three, two, one, seven. Six. It's higher than I thought you were gonna say. I do kind of like the mini truck look he's got going on here. He did it really well. It's very clean for being a 92. You'd never find a 92 Toyota like this in Wisconsin. Yep. That's for sure. I can appreciate it. It's a Toyota. I'm older, so I grew up on these mini trucks oh, yeah. when they were first coming out. That's what I wanted when I was younger. Um, however, I'm into the bigger trucks now but I can appreciate it, I like it, it's plain. I think it's a nice look. Cool. Next guy we're looking at, 2017 Toyota Tacoma. This guy's got red powder coated lift stuff, just like you. I love the sand color, is that what they call it? I don't know, but I, th I think it is. I don't it's know like about that color. Yeah. something like that. I like this. Yep. Red wheel accents, interesting. Okay. Um, oh, this is hard. Okay, three, two, one, Seven. Eight. 
We're picking like pretty close to the same yeah. numbers. So I like everything he did. Like he went through and spent uh, a lot of time and money getting everything like color matched as far as like lift kit goes because he's got red accents on the wheels. The I'm not a huge fan of the fender flares. Uh, maybe if they were painted to match, I would be okay yep. with that. But otherwise they kind of just, they stick out too much to me. Like uh, they're too obvious, too in your face. Yep. Same with me. Uh, love the desert sand color. If they were painted to match, I'd like that better. And again, I, not a fan now, again, since I'm going all black, I'm not a fan of the red. So I would want that to probably be black or if I needed to, uh, to get that powder, maybe do the sand color to match yeah. for something different. Because you could also have, if you had just black wheels and a black lift kit, then maybe the back black fender flares would yeah, be okay. Yeah, absolutely. But again, it's a Toyota, so it's practical on the road, off the road. All of it. Yep. 2018 Toyota Tundra fuel sledge, 22 by 12s on 35s. It's got some lighting going on there. Pretty decent photos. Lots of rock lights. I'm gonna guess that's an eight piece kit. What's going on here? Yeah, those are the, I forget what the name is. Oh, uh, I'll give the guy credit if I Mammoth come up guards? with it. That yes, it that's it, Mammoth Guards. So they're just they're just meant to be there for looks, but it's two piece. You can get those mm -hmm. uh, color coded in any way that you want. And it just kind of cleans up the space, especially if you have lights underneath, it lights sure. them up, they look real cool. Okay, uh, three, two, one. Eight. Seven. So went with eight on this one, relatively high, I guess. It's still not like a complete functional setup, but it doesn't look half bad to me. I like the blue color. Um, it's not your typical black truck. I like that he went with the TRD package. I think the wheel and tire setup looks great on there. It looks like it fits um, relatively nice. You know, seven inches of lift and 35s fits pretty decent on there. I have an eight inch on mine. Uh, so this is looks very similar to mine. I've got 37s versus the 35s. I could easily go an eight on this one too. I think the blue's a nice clean color depending what you're going for. Um, he's got the red accents in there, but he's also tying it in with the mammoth guards. So yeah. makes sense for him. Wow, this thing's huge. Holy cow, it's a bulletproof. So yeah. 2015 Toyota Tundra, 20 by 14s, 38 by 15 and a half for the tires and a 12 inch bulletproof on here. His license plate says so beast. So even though these are 20s, you still get a lot of rubber on here because they're 38 inch tires and they're really wide, 15 and a half wide. That's how it right. stands. Yeah, so he's got reservoirs, he's got coilovers, okay. He's got a lot of stuff on Coach here. Coach builder shims, yep. All right, got a number? Yeah. Three, two, one, nine. Seven. Ooh, kind of lower than I expected. Yeah. What's up? Uh, probably too big for me. I'm in my 40s already, so I'm not gonna be jumping up into that shit much longer anyway. So I think about that as I'm getting older. But aside from that, um, I think it's a clean look. It's a lot more stance than what I like. Mine is a little more practical. I probably got two, three inches wide on mine. Outside of the flares, this is a good no, five, five, six five maybe. Yeah, so definitely out there. But, you know, he's got the 12 inch, he's got, or he's got the 12 inch lift on there. It works for him. It's a nice look. It's just not for me. I went a little higher because he's got headlights. He's got taillights. He's got the massive wheels and tires. He went with a bulletproof lift. He's got nittos, which is a great tire. So he like went all out on this thing and it's coilover. So if you wanted to abuse this thing off road, you definitely could. I think it's a, a pretty decent truck considering the size. Cause if you get too big on a truck, I think you can kind of overdo it. But this is like borderline, right as big as I probably ever want to go. And I like the front bumper too. This guy gets shown in like all of our videos. 2017 Toyota Tacoma, TAS Forge, F51s, 24 by 14. Some pretty cheap 37 by 13 and a half. And I believe he's got like, yeah, 12 inch lift. It's basically a custom kit that he put together a whole bunch of different pieces from. He's got the Fab Four bumper as well. Tons of stance on here, a couple of light bars, and that's what that's what it is. Cool orange color. Number? Yep. Three, two, one, Eight. ten. Ten, hands down. I just love this truck. He's got a couple different variations of it in the gallery. He always adds it every time he gets a new setup. I love the dude himself for uh, being a huge fan of us, and I love the way that he's got his truck set up. Um, the orange is sweet color. I like the grill. I like the demon eyes. I like the light bars. It just looks absolutely massive. Like picturing this thing in my rear view mirror, you'd get out of the way when you see it. I think you talked me up a notch. I can do nine on this one. <laughs> so I'm a big fan, as, as Fuller knows, I'm a big fan of the pre-runners. And I just love the look on this. Uh, the bumper is right for this one, whereas the other one we said was a little bit yeah, bigger. Big. Fits right for this. It looks right with the stance. 
you could go out jumping in this thing in this thing all day or take it down the road at night and it'd look great. Love it. 2019 Tundra, 22 by 14s, down 35s and seven inches of lift. Only got one photo to look at to make the judgment here. Not a whole lot to go off of. The only thing I'm seeing is wheels and tires, right? Wheels and, and tires and, and lift and maybe no, color match on the bumper. He's no, got that's... chrome mirrors. Do you think the bumper was chrome? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the chrome, the bumper was probably white on the platinum. They match oh, that. Oh, okay. It's the same as mine. All right. Number? Yeah. Three, two, one, five. Six. Yeah, I went with a five because the this wheel and tire setup looks like too small for it and it's got stretched tires. 12 and a half inch wide tires on 14 inch wide wheels. Yep. So it just, it doesn't look quite proportionate to me and there's only one photo. So it's really hard to, I guess, get a good judgment, but that's my reasoning. Yep. Again, I like the bigger tires or the bigger, yeah, the bigger tires on the smaller wheels. But with this guy, it's a 19. So I'm assuming more is gonna come from it. So yeah, I'm giving it an extra one. I think we'll probably see some upgrades. And if he does like a lot of other folks and we encourage you to do, add those extra photos when you get them upgraded and uh, add it to the gallery. Yeah, so if you guys want your vehicle featured in the gallery, come out to customoffsets.com forward slash add, and then uh, we'll get it all checked over, get it approved, get it on the website, share it on social media. Maybe you'll end up in a video. Uh, if you guys don't have a uh, wheel and tire set up on your truck right now and you're looking for that, that's kind of what we do, wheel tire suspension. That's uh, our whole shebang there. And if you just need to figure out what fits your truck, you can go to customoffsets.com forward slash gallery. That's where we're pulling all these pictures from and all this data. So that'll help you figure out exactly what fits. So hope you guys enjoyed this little more faster paced, 10 trucks in roughly the same time period, a little less talking, a little more trucks. That's all I got for you. See you next time. Peace. Peace.